Good morning, children. Today's second topic is how to read and how to write the number names of three-digit numbers. How can you read a three-digit number? I will help you to read a three-digit number in a easy way. You look at this number. How many digits are there? There are three digits. There are three digits. And you already learned the places. Zero, the zero in the one place, and four in ten place, and this one in hundred place. Okay. <coughs> then we start from hundred place. How many hundreds are there? One hundred. One hundred. To read a three-digit number, we start from the greatest place. It is the hundred place. So we read from the greatest place, one hundred. Then you look at these places, tens and ones. Read the tens and ones together. Read the tens and ones together. That means four tens and zero one. So you can read this number. Forty. We can read this number. Forty. So one hundred. Okay, children. One hundred and forty. What have you got? One hundred and forty. How to read a three-digit number? We start from the hundred place. Then we together the tens and ones. And one more example for you. Look at this. How to read this? Three digit number. One. See how many hundreds are there? One. So we read one hundred. How many tens and one? Read it together. Tens and one. Read it together. Read it together. Fifty one. One hundred. One hundred and. Fifty-one. Fifty-one. One hundred and fifty-one. Did you get to how to read this three-digit number? Then one more. Look at this. How to read this three-digit number? Here there are how many hundred? Only one hundred. So you can read. That means one hundred. One hundred and what happened here? Here there is no ten. In the ten place is a zero. So you can read only this one place. That means five. One place only five. So you can read this three-digit number as one hundred and five. One hundred and five. You can write one hundred and five. Now we all should understand how to read and write the number name of three-digit number. Shall I give some exercise for you? Okay. You can do in your notebook these exercises. Write the number name. Read and write the number name. Read and write. Read and write the number name. The following number. This is an exercise for you. You can do yourself. Okay. All my dear students, you have to do yourself. Okay. If you have any doubt, please. Be up with your parents, or you can contact me. And don't tell your parents to write and give. Okay? You have to write in your notebook when school reopens. I'll check your notes, isn't it? B. One hundred and okay. Can you write this number name first? You read, then write the number name. Read and write the number name. Mm. 
read and write the number name. Okay. I hope you all understand how to read and write the number name of number up to 200. Okay, dear children. Shall we find that? And you can do one more exercise in your test book. That is page number 9. See this page number. Okay. Page number 9. Then the question number 1. Take a few sheets of square line paper. Children, if you have a square line paper like this, you can take at home. If you don't have, you don't worry about it. You take any rough book. And you can draw it. Take a scale and draw some square line like this. Okay? Can you do it for? You have a lot of time now, so you can do this thing. So, you take a sheet of paper, square line paper and some crayons. And you can color the boxes to show the number. Use one page for each number. Color a box of 100 squares for 100. That means here I will show you one example. And one strip of 10 squares for 110. And one box for 11. Here there is first number 123. That I have already done for you. See, 123. This is the 100. 100. It is easily will help you to remember that 10 tens make 100. Here 10 tens are there. That means 100. Understand? 10 tens make 100. This is 10 tens. This one I am showing like this. 10 tens make 100 and 2 tens. In 123, there are 2 tens. So, you can do 2 tens and 3 ones. 3 square box. This much only. Get it now? So, you can do at home this question number 1, B, C, D. Okay, my dear children. And move on to second question. Say that numbers out loud as you write them. See, how many hundred? One. Then how many tens? One. And how many? This ones. You count one, two, three, four. That ones are already written for you. I'll show you one example. The first one I'll show you that is how many hundred? One hundred. Write in the hundreds place. How many tens? Only the one strip of ten. So you can write a one. So, then next one, how many ones? Four ones. Write this four ones. And the remaining this exercise, you can do yourself. After you finish your exercise, and you have to do one more thing. What is today's date? Today's date is 2nd June 20, 2020. And you get the signature of your parent. Okay? Shall you do it? Then, you can do one more recall exercise in your textbook, page number 7. Okay, my dear children, shall I read it for you once? In this page also, you must have to put the date today, 6 to 6, 2020. Here, I have already show you that tens, these are ones. This is two tens. And three ones. That means 23. Maths. Okay. The next one. How many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens. 7 G. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ones. 74. Where is 74? Join. But here not 74. The 74 is actually here only. Understand? Find out and finish this first one. And move on to the second one. Write the numbers before, after and between. This one after, before, then between. Then last question. In each group, color the car with the greatest number red. You take a red crayon. Okay. And color the greatest number. In first question, this much numbers are there. Color, find out the greatest number. Which is the greatest number? 83, 81, 85, 80. 
you color the greatest number with the red and the smallest number with the blue. Do the same for the next one also. Then we shall find up. Today's class is over. You already learned what is a three digit number up to 200. You know to read and write the number name of three digit number. Revi uh, revising once more. 10 once make 110. 10 tens make 100. The 100 is the newest place in the three digit number. Okay, my dear children. All of I hope you all understand very well. If you have any doubt, you can contact me at any time. Then may God bless you, all of you. Thank you.